Thomas Engert was looking happy that the rain had come because he was very strong. Peter Cox made a very fast start, a little bit too fast. He would later receive a drive-through penalty, but the whole of the field got through the first few corners very, very safely as we saw great battles throughout the order. Difficult conditions, though, on the opening lap. Some cars were set up for wet conditions. As it turns out, some others were turned set up for dry. And uh, in the case of one of the Mercedes, you can see really struggling to get out of turn one without making contact. Yeah, Nicky Pastorelli made it, uh, ran a little bit wide. Yelma Berman was soon on the attack. Uh, and there was a little bit of a, an off for the uh, number six machine, which was driven by Sergei Afanasyev at the time. But Yelma Berman definitely was the man on the move. Also on the move was Mike Parisi slicing through the field here, going past Thomas Jaeger when the circuit was still pretty wet as uh, the McLaren managed to make his way past both of the Ferraris in the end on what was a torrid day for AF Corsa. And then more battles as Parisi picked off Yelma Berman. It really was an impressive performance from him. And after the drive-through penalty that I mentioned earlier, Peter Cox was dropped out of the running and would finish down in eighth position. Then came the pit stops, and these were crucial. The race-leading Audis deciding to stick with wet tyres, which was uh, turned out to be completely the wrong decision. And it was a simple task for Marcus Finkelhock to take the lead away, much to the delight of Mark Basseng, Ferrari and McLaren continued their battles throughout the uh, the afternoon. Enzo Ide there making his way past Gregoire de Moustier. The battle was on for second place, but ultimately it was the uh, race leader at the time, Marcus Winkelhock, who would run into trouble. You can see him there slowing. That allowed Michael Bartels and Thomas Jaeger through, and that order would not change before the end of the race. We had this great battle going on for the final podium position. Fred Makovicki not quite close enough to get past Matt Halliday. There were cars everywhere as he lost a crucial amount of time there behind that Mercedes. Yeah, on the penultimate lap, that was just the, the seal that the McLaren didn't need and the Porsche quick rut counted. Uh, McLaren couldn't use that momentum to make it stick and uh, they finished in fourth. So he tried to bully his way past it. Didn't quite work. We're all set for an excellent championship race tomorrow getting underway at 2 o'clock local time.